I am happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. This is no time to engage in the luxury of cooling off or to take the tranquilizing drug of gradualism. Now is the time to make real the promises of democracy. Now is the time to rise from the dark and desolate valley of segregation to the sunlit path of racial justice. Now As is the time. Christ has loved the church. We march in peace. We march in a way that when our feet tread on these grounds, we not only expect change, but we're going to see change. Amen. Y'all get an amen from that. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've got to pray. As we walk, we must make the pledge that we shall always march ahead. We cannot turn back. There are those who are asking the devotees of civil rights. When will you be satisfied? We can never be satisfied as long as the Negro is the victim of the unspeakable horrors of police brutality. We can never be satisfied. As long as our body is heavy with the fatigue of travel, cannot gain lodging in the motels of the highways and the hotels of the city. So even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream. I have a dream today. Black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today.